So, um, what other colors can we expect? There's, I see some tricolors in here. Um, yes, there's typically there's solid white. There's red and white. There is complete white. There is uh, what they call a black telescope. That's solid as, black. Solid black, yes. right? Solid, completely solid black. And there's also calico, as well. Okay. Uh, when we were talking uh, before we started filming, we were, you were talking about uh, certain fish that were born all black. Does that happen with these guys too? Does the color develop in them as they yes, mature? Yes, yeah. Some of them, they come out black and then they eventually go through the color change. But most of these guys were born color red. And then what happens is from that red, then they start changing color to uh, red and white and they start developing more of a white pattern. Okay. As you can see, like in the tricolor, it was more of a dark color. Yes. And then they start fading color. Like Very goldfish cool. don't have a stable color. They tend to change over time. Okay. So we can expect these to change a little bit. Uh, yes. Sometimes, they'll, will they convert back to gray sometimes? Or? Most of the time, they convert to either solid orange or completely white. And then sometimes they do hold the color, and then they just stay a solid red and white throughout okay. their lifetime. Can you tell us what's the percentage of people who buy for aquarium versus pond here at your business? Yes. Most of my customers buy majority of the business for aquarium. Okay. Aquarium, a very small percentage, maybe about 10% buy for goldfish barns. Right. But not too many people know about us yet, so that's why. Well, I hope, I hope we can expand that a little bit too and we can teach people the beauty yes. of having a goldfish specific pond. Yes. Not, and I'm not just talking like, you know, the Shabunkins, you yeah. know, I'm talking about these fancy really goldfish. fancy guys. Yes. Okay, can you tell us about what the price tag is on these guys when uh, you sell these approximately for? We sell these for $65. $65, okay. Yes. Uh, red and white, any between 65 most of the, some of them could go all the way up to $125. For uh, different color varieties? For different, or bigger, bigger different, different color varieties, different pattern types. The pattern is what makes the, the price unique, as well as the body shape. Similar yeah. to koi, right? You know, Correct. There's all the confirmation and color. Yes, and then the, you know, the more unique pattern it is, the, typically the higher the price tag. Sure. As well as how symmetrical the body is, how symmetrical the eyes are. Have these guys yeah. developed much in the past 40 years as far as like, we talked about some of them being more compact or longer bodies. Sure, sure. a lot of them, they, now they're breeding to have the higher hump. Currently they're trying to breed the dome to be higher. As you can see, the shorter body and the larger dome coming upwards. And, and that's what the current trend is now in the market. So tell us, I mean, the, the price tag is dependent on their color, but we also said that the color could change a little bit. So yes. I want to be sure that the, that the viewers understand that mm -hmm. they might pay for um, a higher ticket price for a really beautiful one. The color could change a little bit. I yes. want to make sure that they're aware of that. H how long can we expect these um, fancy goldfish to live? Some fancy goldfish, you know, this type of fish on average, we get around maybe eight to ten years. I mean, some of them do live longer than... Right. Than that you could get them up to maybe 15 20 years depending a lot basically on the water quality water quality and always the, the condition they're kept in sure sure but um we always suggest them to goldfish actually tend to do better outdoors in larger environments than indoors in aquariums that is what i want to focus on right there because most of your clients are indoors and that's great for people with apartments or they're traveling and, mm -hmm. and um, maybe they don't have the room to do an outdoor pond yet, but it's really, really, I want to get across to people. These guys do amazing outdoors, yes. provided they're not being out-competed by koi, they're not getting Correct. picked off by predators and stuff. Yes. So hopefully we can break that a little bit and help get people more into these goldfish ponds. Yes, the color develops better if you keep them outside in the sun. You get the more deeper, darker tones opposed to putting them in an aquarium. Light. Just from having the sun, right? Correct. Just by having the natural sun, it does a lot for them. And then especially by giving them the space, a lot of people, you don't have to worry about uh, high ammonia. You don't have to worry about doing tremendous water changes every week right. by putting them into a pond. They have more space for them to swim. For sure. I definitely see people um, when in the aquarium, they have them packed a lot more dense than they do in a pond, yes, for sure. Yes, for sure. And what's, what size can we expect these guys to get? Will they get as big as your hand? Or? Yes, they could get up to, we have the largest one I've seen personally was around eight inch butterfly from here. Eight inches, is that including yes, the tail or just the body? That's including the tail. Okay. I mean, they, some of them do get larger than that. Wow. I personally haven't seen. I mean, they've been in your yet. hand and the tail is just flopping out. The size out. of your hand. That's fantastic. That All right, cool. Well, I want to dive into some other varieties. I know you have a lot sure. to do here and a lot to, to choose from. Mm -hmm. So let's dive into some of the other varieties. Thank no you for problem. that opener. You're welcome.